You read. Would you rather eat only human remains for the rest of your life, or starve to death? What are human remains? If it's literally human meat, I'm happy with that. I, I think I could cannibal for a little while. But if it's remains as in like... Feces. Yeah, then no, I'd rather starve to death. That's what we're going. I think starve to death, just play it safe. I guess, yeah. Yeah, because you, you don't want to eat feces. Would you rather never be able to compliment or never be able to complain? Never be able to compliment. I do love complaining. I do love a good complaint. I love a, I love a good whinge and a moan. But then compl- compliments can you know, never mind. get you laid. More people would rather compliment than complain. What sort of society do we live well, in? Well, if everyone Sick. never complained and everyone complimented each other, everyone would be happier, Richards. Fuck people's happiness. And go on the next one. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm really annoyed by the answer to that. Why? <laughs> Why? Because who doesn't love a, love a good whinge and a moan? Especially if you're British, that's all we do is we complain. But if no one complains... It must be Americans, that's what it is. A lot of Americans have answered this question. It's the only way I can justify it. Be named after a car or be named after produce, fruit or veg. Much rather be named after a car. You mean to say you, you'd rather be called, um, hang on, Logan after the Dacia? Would you rather be called Ferrari Enzo or Harry fucking Mango. Tomato or No, cabbage? I'd rather be called Passion Fruit. Tom Cabbage. Passion Fruit. Passion by name, passion by nature. Well, I'm going car, so... Well, I've got the mouse, so we're going vegetable. People are retired. We need some rules for this, because we can't just go <laughs> no, with whoever's got the mouse. I've got the mouse. Would you rather save Abraham Lincoln or JFK? I have no idea what his relevance is to American society. Uh, as he's far one as of the I know, founding fathers, wasn't he? No. Was that George Washington? Was. George Washington was. He abolished slavery. He... F- mm. That's pretty much all I know he's done. Whereas I've read JF- a book called by Christopher Hitchens, which... Yes, he did abolish slavery, but he would have gone with the other option if necessary. Well, of course he would have. Because back then, black people weren't considered people, were they? No, not so. They were a commodity. But then I don't really know what JFK did, other than he got assassinated. He he was during, was it the Cold War with Russia, the Cuban Missile Crisis? It was very big during the 60s. He slept with Marilyn Monroe. Did he? Yeah. I didn't know that. You didn't? I did not know that. You don't internet enough. I don't know. So. Well, you can choose this one. You chose the last one, so you might as well choose this one. Well, I've got the mouse, so I make the rules. Have your face on a $1 bill, or have your face on a $100 bill? Well, why wouldn't you go on the $100 bill? Because not a lot of people would have $100 bills. But that makes it more rare and sort of exotic. Really? I'd rather be on the $1. What would you rather be, a penny or a pound? Well, it depends. A penny, which is worthless, or a pound, which you use. But they're not the same though, are they? Or a £50 note, or a 50p coin? 50p coin. Why? Why, because more people can see my ugly mug and go, Oh, we put nah, that on a coin? No, because it's nice for a £50 note. You, you have you ever had a £50 no. note? Of course I have. I'm have not you? fucking, you know... I don't know. Have you? Living on the streets. Yes, I have, yeah. Mainly when you get money out the bank, like but large chunks of money out the bank. You withdraw large chunks? Well, I think we need to renegotiate what you pay me. Yeah, for. when I bought my... Um, PS2, actually. I think when I first you bought my PS2, took it out of your £50 notes. I'm I very took surprised. out 300 quid or 200, 250 quid from my bank account, and they gave me it in fifties. I'm very surprised because I remember Toys R Us. They had to call the manager out because they wouldn't take them. Well, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. Argue with them. I remember a that they paid you out in fifty pound notes, yeah. and b the shop actually accepted your fifty pound notes. Because yeah. whatever shop I've ever worked in, and I've always done retail, fifty pound notes are like cursed money. You can't take fifty pound. We notes. take them. There's a special machine though where uh, it, it scans it through and then if it doesn't oh. like it, it chucks it back out and says mm-hmm. no. And then you turn it around and put it back yeah. in and it takes it. <laughs> I know what you mean. So well, I've never had one of them, but it was always management. And there was like a 10 point check on a £50 note that you have to make yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, a lot of checks. Yeah. I don't bother with them all so, day, really. Well, no, you just pulled it up. Yeah, it yeah really I, can I see the Queen's moustache? Yes, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. Right, Go so with the 100 one. Right, 100. You're wrong, but. I'm 100. not. <laughs> This, these are largely subjective, Richard. Oh. There's no right or wrong. It's would you rather. You're still wrong. The, we need to take turns and ask each no, other these. I've got the mouse, so fuck you. 